I got a new toy! I got a new toy! This channel is made possible in part by Morning Fame, smarter analytics to simplify YouTube growth. Use the link on your screen right now to get your first month free. And by TubeBuddy, your best friend on the road to YouTube success. Use the affiliate link on your screen to sign up today. Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and this is a Weller WE1010 soldering station. This was uh, provided to me by the fantastic folks over at Element 14 and Newark Electronics. And uh, they said, uh, you got an old soldering station, so you need one of our new wellers. So I said, okay, you can send me a new weller. That's fine. Fine and dandy. So uh, that's where this is coming from. So as you see right here on the box, we've got a 70 watt power station, electrostatic safe, 70 watt wand or uh, iron or pin or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see, operating temperature from minus 10 uh, on up. Da, 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 da. Let's see, new LCD, that's fantastic. Uh, one to 99 minute standby timer, digital display. Uh, temperature lockout, uh, high power, automatic setback, uh, easy, I guess it's easy display, um, and a, a no tool change, no tool tip change. So that is pretty fantastic. So let's open her up. Let's take a peek what we got inside. Genuine, well, approved tip quality. Mm -mm. Mm. It does not smell of Chineseium, uh, probably because it's made in Mexico. Oh, let's see. Okay, we got our uh, got our nice uh, standard NEMA connector. Let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. Just a few seconds is well worth it. Oh, this is the registration. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, here is all the instructions in all the different languages. I love how Deutsch is first. Uh, German is first and English is second because Weller is a German company. Which is just funny to me. It's, it's funny, like, not seeing... Um, it's funny not seeing English as like the primary language for something. So anyway, just the standard safety stuff. Um, and I know how to, I pretty much know how to put together a soldering iron. At least I hope I do by this point. But you never know, especially with old hubris like me. All right, there's our box. Nice box construction here, nice and, ooh, that is nice. It's got a nice, uh, Nice solid feel to it. All right, what's in our side over here? This is, uh, this looks like our little tip dealy, a little caddy. So on this side is nothing. Uh, that means that this big old hunk in the middle is our base station. Ah! Okay, there is that. That's Take a peek here. Let's get her outside of the um, uh, foam stuff. Nice packing job. Nice, very, very nice packing job. Here. So this is the main unit. Um, smaller than I anticipated it being. Uh, you can see it here uh, compared to my uh, trusty Radio Shack. A lot smaller. Um, this is a 60 watt. I believe this is a 60. It should be a 60 watt system. Um, but up, 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 up. Yeah, 60 watts. This is a 60 watt soldering iron uh, soldering station. This is a 70 watt soldering station, but it looks like the transformers are roughly the same size. Uh, we're gonna crack this thing open in, in the next video and we will see uh, what actually makes her tick. But let's take some plastic off of here. Got a nice feel to it. Just, just a nice feel of that plastic there. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of VOC coming out of it. Oh, let's see what else we got in here. Boop, 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 boop. So we have a Weller WE 1010 120 volt AC power unit, 60 hertz, 
85 watts, actually. Okay, so max 85 watts. Uh, 70 watts on the iron there. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, so that's that. Uh, let's see, Apex Tool Group, Lufkin Road, Apex, North Carolina. Okay, so there's that. Now let's get uh, let's get the magic wand out. And oh, there's a little something in here. Oh, this is the the base. This, the base the stand. Nice heavy, nice heavy base there. Sounds heavy. Yeah, heavy steel base. Yep, there you go. Big heavy steel base right there. So there you have the parts. Here is the uh, the pin or the iron. Uh, comes with kind of a this, uh, sort of a chisel chiselish tip. It is pre-tinned, so that's that's nice. Let's see. Let's take that off. So. Standard hacko kind of um, it's the standard hacko kind of uh, sleeve that goes on there, just like I've got over there on the Radio Shack. Uh, it's got this little tiny, a little tiny heating element in there, um, with a very tiny uh, hole for the tip, tiny opening for the tip. So that's uh, that's essentially what we're using there. So it's Weller, of course, Weller style tips versus the big uh, ceramic um, hacko style tips. It's got a nice, uh, nice feel to it. Uh, sort of a neoprene-ish, uh, of course, you know, your rubbery kind of grip here. Um, and your one, two, three, four, five pin uh, connector. That goes right there. So, as compared to, is this a five pin? I don't remember, I think this is a five pin as well. Yeah, it's a five pin, but it's the big style five pin versus the smaller style five pin. So they're not, they're not compatible. Not that matters. So, Play around with this guy for a little while. Uh, so far, so good. Um, looks like a simple, easy to use style design. I'm gonna play with this a little bit more. You'll see. Uh, you'll see how it works, and you'll see how I work with it uh, in the coming videos. So that's that. Stay tuned for the teardown uh, that is coming up next. Uh, social media over here. Uh, playlist over here. Subscribe down here. And uh, check out the uh, check out the newsletter. It lets you know all the cool things that are happening here around the shop and everywhere else. So uh, check that out. Sign up today and get a free gift. Isn't that great? Uh, in the meantime, my name is Atari, and until next time, tally ho, y'all.